but we are here at the pipe that is actively steaming and noticeable difference on this one. I'm back once again on the outskirts of Centralia, Pennsylvania, right here off Big Mine Run Road. I'm back again because of my thermal gun. You guys wanted me to return to show you what this area looks like with this tool. I will say I did experiment with some anti-reflective tape and it's not working as intended. So I'm just going to do what I can to show you what it looks like. Snap a few still images with the gun, but in the future I'm going to create like a shroud or a hood for this to eliminate the glare. But we're going to check out the vent right behind me. There's one over to my right, your left, and then we're going to go up on top of the hill where that pipe is that's steaming as well. And as well as one of the other pipes that aren't steaming to show if the heat is actually emanating underground. So if you're ready, come along with me. So I'm not sure if it's helping or not. This is the anti-glare tape or covering, but I'm pointing at the vent. That's the same vent where I cooked the food in a few years ago. And it got up upwards of close to 200 degrees. And right now it's showing it's maxing out from here at 118 or so. I'm gonna get up there, get a closer look at it, and you'll be able to see what it looks like and what the readings are gonna be. So here we are. And even on a day like today where it's near 60 degrees, it is still a steamy fissure. So on the camera, it's glowing like crazy. I'm actually gonna snap a still photo right now. And it's getting up to 124 degrees. So that's looking right into the opening there. And let me know the feedback too. Let me know if you think this reflect the uh, anti-glare reflective tape is working or not. If it is, I'll continue to use it. Otherwise, um, I'll come up with some type of hood. But hopefully you can see what I'm seeing here. And you can actually see the steam essentially rising on here. Yeah, it's like a a fiery pit almost but yeah 125 degrees a few years ago it was near 200 now as we scan the landscape here you can actually see that there is more warm spots I'm picking up a hot spot of 97 degrees so the ground is warm in the surrounding area even though there's no steam visibly coming out there is elevated temperatures underground. Right in the center, it's like 80 degrees, but there was a, a pocket of like 95 degrees somewhere over there. So people are wondering, you know, is there other warm areas? There definitely is. Now over here, which is down and left to where we just wore, there is another vent or fissure here. This one used to be billowing with steam a few years ago. And although there's still steam coming out, it's not nearly as hot as it used to be. I can actually feel the heat from here. There is a musty odor to it. Slight uh, sulfur smell, but out here in the atmosphere it gets diluted, so there's no danger of being nearby. But you wouldn't want to really lay in there for an extended period of time. But we're getting 104 degrees, so it's a little bit cooler. And you can see above it too, all that yellow and the brightness, that's the ground that is warm. It's over 70 degrees. And over there, actually where I'm pointing right now, it is near 90 degrees. It's a hot zone of 101. So this whole mountainside here is basically a hot zone, so to speak. Kind of trial and error i'm not used to using this piece of equipment and trying to film at the same time but they are incredibly useful to have i mean without this you won't be able to see that all these areas are elevated having elevated temperatures now even right here where we're looking it's not nearly as warm it's only like in the 50s pretty much ambient temperature but it's not until you get closer to this embankment here that the temperature really starts to climb and basically this whole area here is warm at least 20 degrees warmer than the atmosphere but closer to where these fissures are like right there above those red rocks that is a hot zone of 102 so there are little hot pockets so to speak 
Not the kind you eat though. But up on top though, I'm gonna climb up there. That's because the uh, steaming pipe is up there. Another fissure and then a pipe that has nothing coming out of it. And we're gonna see if it actually is resonating any heat from underground, absorbing the heat or not, or if it's actually just a cool to the touch pipe. If you do remember though, myself and RJ did scour this whole mountain. We went all the way to the top, down, and came down diagonally and we came across over a dozen pipes and they are basically monitoring pipes so they could read the temperatures they have a thermal coupler inside they hook up the piece of equipment to it and it gives them on the fly readings to see what the gases are like the temperatures and stuff like that i don't have one of those devices so we just have to use this in the meantime but i'm gonna make my way up there and we'll see what it's like just climbed up right below us is the vent that we were just checking out you can actually kind of still still see the steam from here Directly above it though is our next fissure. I showed this in the last video here. Had my temperature gun and got some readings of around 120 some. And with this today, 132 we're getting. This one's pretty vertical, it goes straight down. 136 is the highest output so far. And that is just that right there. Now, behind me, somewhere over there is the pipe that is actively steaming. It's actually separated from its casing. And then behind you guys is a pipe that has no heat coming out of it, but there might be that thermal coupler inside. So let's go over there and check that out first. New Haven, Connecticut, four inch. And this one has the detached thermocoupler right there. So let's see if there's any heat coming from that. So the pipe itself is just 70 degrees. It's not coming through too well, but the pipe is only 71 degrees. That's probably just from the sun hitting it. But, in this area here, it's getting up to close to 100 degrees. So it's safe to say this pipe is not absorbing any heat. There is heat around it. But we're going to make our way down to the other pipe now that should be steaming. And we'll see what those temperatures are. Came down this old roadbed here. This is what they use to basically drill these pipes. A long time ago, they came through with a dozer and just flattened it out, leveled it. Brought a drilling rig in here and drilled the pipes. So... These flat level areas are just old roads for the drilling themselves. They weren't used for anything else. But we are here at the pipe that is actively steaming and noticeable difference on this one. You can actually see that's glowing white hot. The noise it's making is calibrating. This is 106 degrees where the other one was only 70. And if we get closer to it, you can actually look down kind of into it and it's uh over 112 so it just gets hotter the closer to the source obviously now there was speculation about this pipe as to whether or not this burst from the heat and the pressure and caused this separation here or maybe if moisture got in there and it froze regardless of what happened there definitely is a divide here and now it's basically just an escape escape way for the the heat and steam you still see a little bit of steam coming out, even on a warm day like today. And this confirms my suspicions. I know it's not showing up for you guys, so again, I'm going to work on this. I will get it better. But looking up at this uh, mountainside here, the temperatures are not really that warm. There's only residual heat from the sun baking on certain things like trees and rocks. It's nowhere above 80 degrees. That's like the highest, 80, 81. An occasional hot or warm pocket of like 83, 85. But as far as I know, it's not burning up there at all. And when myself and RJ climbed this mountain, we, we saw no evidence of any heat, any burned out clear areas where there's no vegetation. It just is natural how it should be. So it's pretty clear that the fire is contained in this general area. And now we can see what this looks like with the thermal camera. Once I do figure out a better, suitable solution to eliminate the glare altogether, someone even suggested maybe even uh, carrying an umbrella to 
block out the shade, the sunlight. Um, I will come back and do a more formal thermal gun reading and show you other areas. You know, we'll come back to these spots, but we'll venture back to those older other pipes that we found as well, and we'll have a, a good idea as to where the heat is, if there's any more hot spots that we missed, and we'll also check just other areas around too with the thermal gun. But again, be patient with me. I am trying to work on it. The non-glare stuff isn't working as intended, so it's just trial and error, but I will be back in the near future. Don't forget, if you haven't checked my previous video here where myself and RJ did scour this mountain and show you everything that there is to see, including well over a dozen pipes, you'll find it linked down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.